Y'all gonna think I'm weird, okay? Sand is good. Like, it's just, I used to eat sand. Like, I used to eat sand every time I go to my grandma's house. And it's just like, nobody gonna, <laughs> nobody gonna wanna kiss me after that. Like, it's just like the grinding on like your teeth. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just being able to chew it and grind it together. It just got like a salty taste to me. And it tastes good. I I didn't eat a lot. I would just like rub it on my finger and like, you know, eat it. You know what else is good? Flour. Flour is good. I just met her one day and I gave her a nickname. And I changed the whole scenery. For the one time she can't stop calling me. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy King Kim TV coming at you with another five. Banger! You already know what we're doing today by the title, and as you can tell, your boy got a new camera. Yeah, 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 we in there. And I don't know if you can tell, but hey, I got a new mic too. Yeah, so y'all been wondering why I've been MIA for a minute, and um, you know where I've been. But really, I've been trying to get my life together, get everything together. I got some bangers coming for y'all, like, and one dropping next week, okay? I got some for y'all, some special, but this is gonna be like, this video is gonna be like, the world, like, it's crazy. Be ready for that, and uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications, hit that bell button, so you can get notified whenever I post, and um, comment, and let me know what you wanna see next, and maybe I'll do that video for you. Um, but yeah, so basically today I'm gonna be doing my unpopular opinions. Yes. Um, so basically an unpopular opinion is how you feel about something that everybody might like or some people dislike. So basically, it's really your own opinion on the things. So I have a list that I made in my notes of stuff. Um, so yeah, so let's get into it. Um, let me see. Okay, so my first unpopular opinion is cheese. Let me get into that, cause cheese is disgusting. If you eat cheese, you nasty. You try, I'm just put it like that. Cheese is nasty, any dairy is nasty to me, like milk, butter, you can put it in like my food, but I, if like, I just can't eat butter like by itself, like that is nasty, like you, like nasty. Um, what I say? Cheese ice cream? I don't really fool with ice cream like that. You know, that's not me. It's nasty to me. I'm just let you know like that. Um, and yeah, so I really can't get with it. Um, so any dairy is nasty. That's just my opinion. Um, like, whenever I order pizza, I order with no cheese, like pepperoni and bread. I don't know if that's just me or am I the only one who do that? I don't know. Maybe I am, but. That's just me. Um, I just feel like it's just cheese give me a weird vibe. Like, who wants to eat something molded? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm, 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 that I can't get with it. All right, so number two, we have um, cake. I mean, cupcakes is better than cake. Now, I don't know if it's just me that thinks that, but to me, cupcakes taste better. It's like you get, you get like everything in one bite without having to like you know cut up the cake and I mean it tastes better to me like it tastes more mm, fresh I don't know if that makes sense but cupcake and cake is the same thing let me tell you how to actually how you're supposed to eat a cupcake okay so you break the bottom half of the cupcake and put it on top of the other half of the cupcake like a cookie so like you like bite into it like you know like like I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a little ASMR. I got, I got, I got something coming for y'all. Okay. Um, but yeah. So uh, to me, I just feel like cupcakes is better than cake. And it got cake got too much icing. Like who just wants to sit there and eat like pink icing, like for you know two bites or so. But that is me. 
Um, another thing. Um, um, let me see. Let me pick a good one. Crawfish, nasty. Let me tell you a story, okay? So my first time trying crawfish was like a few months ago, and I had saw on Instagram, um, like how you supposed to eat it. Well, I thought that's how you supposed to eat it. Like you twist the head and you drink it. And I did. I had went to Juicy Crab and I had drank it. And I, I well, I tried to and almost threw up like everywhere. Like it was like. Ugh! Like nasty, like don't eat. If you eat crawfish, you dirty. And Kanaya, I'm talking to you because you the main one I know. Like this girl will eat like a big bucket. Like for her birthday, she got a big bucket full of crawfish, and I'm talking about ate all of them. Like and it's so nasty. Like cause when I, it tastes like boo boo. Well, I don't know what boo boo tastes like, but if it smell how it tastes, then you know what I'm saying. It's just like, uh, like, yeah. So. Crawfish, disgusting. Shrimp, shrimp to me, I think, let me let me say, okay, crab legs is overrated. You want me to tell you why? You, you go to Juicy Crab, for example, you pay like $15 to get this little bit of meat out of the, out of the crab leg. Like, what's the, what's the point? You can eat you a bucket of chicken for that. You know what I'm saying? Order you a good pizza. Some fries, some chips. Let me stop. I'm hungry, if y'all can't tell. Um, and to me, I just think crab legs is overrated. They not even all that good. Like you don't even really get the sauce unless you like dip it. Like you gotta drench it, and it tastes like shrimp. So why buy crab legs when you could just buy shrimp and get the same taste? You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Um. Y'all gonna think I'm weird, okay? Sand is good. Wait a damn minute. Like, it's just, I used to eat sand. Like, I used to eat sand every time I go to my grandma's house. And it's just like, nobody gonna, <laughs> nobody gonna wanna kiss me after that. Like, it's just like the grinding on like your teeth. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just being able to, chew it and grind it together it just got like a salty taste to me and it tastes good i i didn't eat a lot i would just like rub it on my finger and like you know eat it you know what else is good flour flour is good let me tell you why Flour is good. It just give you, it just like, like I'm not talking about like cooked flour. Like I'm talking about like a spoon, like a spoon of flour, like uncooked flour. And it, I don't know why, I don't know why it tastes so good. Like to me, I got on it from my cousins because my cousins, they started doing, I, I thought it was like so nasty. I was like, why are you sitting there? Like I'm talking about they would eat like two spoonfuls a day or even more. Like they would just sit there and eat a bag of flour. I'll be like, that is so nasty, like why? And then I had tried it. And at first, when you first taste it, it's like, it gives you like, I don't know, like a salty taste really, but like doughy, if that makes sense. Like if you like, if you like raw cookie dough, you'll probably like flour. Don't beat it till you try it, I'm telling you. It'll change your life, cause, you know, I, was, I thought I was weird for doing it, but mm, now, that I, now, that, now that I've actually tried it multiple times, and I I eat it, I'm, I'm gonna put it like this, I eat it like once a day, okay? And, but I'm gonna stop, because it's probably messing up my intestines and stuff like that. But flour is so good. I think I want a spoon right now. Like, it just rub, like, I don't know how to put it, like, the way it, like, grind on your... Yo, you know, your teeth and well it doesn't really grind but like it like rolls up if that makes sense. Like clunks up like dough. And it just tastes good. But you gotta mix seasoning salt with it. Mix seasoning salt with it and I'm telling you it'll get you right. I'm 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 not I wouldn't I wouldn't lie to you, okay? Try it. Um, okay, so another one. Um Disney Channel is overrated to me. I don't watch Disney Channel no more. Like, I stopped watching that like a while back. 
But to me, it's overrated. Like everybody hype up Disney Channel to, you know, be this and that. But really, all they doing is remaking the same shows just with new people. Like to me, it feels like all the shows are like a spinoff of Ant Farm. Like you know how like Ant Farm is basically like a school for like you know the prodigies or whatever you know, and now you got um what's some shows called. Gabby or some like to, it's just a spinoff Ant Farm. It's overrated to me. Like I don't see what's the point. I and you know what else is overrated? TV. TV is overrated. It's 2019. Nobody really like sits down and actually watches TV anymore. Everybody like they do it from their phone. So I mean, TV is overrated. I don't know if y'all still watch TV. I bought this TV and I barely even turn it on. Like I might turn it on like once. Once a week or so, if that, like, I really don't even use it. So, really, it was, like, a waste of money I could have kept in my pocket. Mm. I don't know. Does TV seem overrated to y'all? I don't know. Maybe. Okay, I'm going to say it like this. Power. Power is good. It just, it's overrated. I'm going to tell, I'm, then let me tell you why before y'all start coming at my head in the comments, Okay. Now, I watched Power like a few times and it I just couldn't really get with it because it seems like all the episodes are like really the same. Or like every season is the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think all the shows are like basically like a spin off of one another. Like, it just, it just seemed iffy to me. Like, you already know, like, you, if you already know what's gonna happen next, what's the point of even watching this? What is how I feel. But maybe that's just me. I don't know if anybody else watched Power out there. But, I mean, I, I like the show. I'm not saying I don't dislike it. But I just feel like everybody hypes it up to be more than what it is. Like Empire. Empire is good. Don't get me wrong. I'm just, It's just the, the hype isn't what the show is actually about. You know? Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Um, you know what else? Um, okay, so this is... What, my fourth one? Soda is nasty to me. And that's just my opinion. I feel like soda is disgusting. Um, soda's nasty. Like, why would you wanna... To me, like, drinking soda is like drinking acid. Like, it's br like Sprite, for example, like, you can't sit there and drink... Like, how you can drink juice, like, just drink whenever you're thirsty. You can't do that with Sprite. Um, you can't do that with Sprite or Coke or whatever. Like, I don't even drink, I don't drink soda like that. I only drink juice and tea and lemonade and stuff like that. And really, I started that a few months ago because I found, I mean, I've always known, but it was like, it's just like unhealthy, really, to put all of that in your body. But juice is actually better for you. Matter of fact, I think tea is, in a way, it depends on where you get it from, because some of them, they like to put like, three pounds of sugar in there and that's not good for you but I just feel like soda is nasty yeah um okay so what else we got um this one this one is for y'all and I oop people like look I feel like my opinion I feel like that is so dumb like who walks around and says, and I oop, like, why, why, why would you do that? Like, one girl, she had, at my school, she had failed, and the other girl was like, and I oop, and I oop, and I'm like, I was like, what? Like, why would you just sit there and say, and I oop? What's the reason, like, you... It just seemed dumb to me, really. Like, I don't see what's the point. And then y'all so hype about these. Hydro Flask are overrated. Yes, I said it. Hydro Flask are overrated. Why are you spending like almost $30 on a on a water bottle? Like when you can just get one for less than $5 or so. What's the, I mean, I get the whole, you know, save the turtles and all of that. Don't come at me, okay? I'm just saying, I just feel like it's overrated. Like everybody, like, they feel like they have to have a Hydro Flask in order to fit in with the rest of their friends, you know? Be like, and I, and I, yeah, Hydro Flask, like, fist bump, you know what I'm saying? And, like, I feel like they're taking it too far. Like, they putting, like, one girl at my school, she got, like, hair, 
like the little strings like braided into hair like all over the water bottle and got all these stickers on it. I don't really see what's the reason. I feel like it's really dumb. Yeah, I just feel like Hydro Flask got it. They gotta stop, okay? And the and I oop and and all of that gotta stop. It gotta stop. Maybe we need to have an intervention. That that's what needs to happen. With all my people, okay? If you do that, stop. Cut it out. Cut it out, okay? Um, okay. Um, let's see. Papa John's is nasty. Um, I feel like Papa John. They be putting so much sauce on the on a pizza, like they like dump the whole tub of sauce on the pizza and only give you like three pepperonis. Like what I'm supposed to do with that? Like ooh, done face that. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the what's the reason? What's the point? Why would you put more sauce than there is pepperoni? And that's what all Papa John's. And then they be putting so much grease, like. It's so greasy at the bottom. I'm like, y'all could at least, you know, put a paper towel or something down. Like, I can't even eat my pizza in pizza without spilling it on my shirt. Because y'all just don't want to. And y'all just want to tell y'all just want to see me say I And I just can't. I can't do it. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. No. Let me stop, okay? All right, all right. Um, okay, you know what else is overrated? AirPods. AirPods are overrated. You wanna know why? I have, me, myself, I have AirPods. I feel like it's really a waste of money. Like, I, you know, if you have an iPhone 10 or up, then, you know, it's useful because we don't have, you know, the actual chart, I mean, headphone charging spot, and you can't charge your phone to listen to music at the same time. But really, the only time I feel like you wear AirPods is at school. You know, just the flex that you got AirPods so you don't, so people don't see that you got wires. You know what I'm saying? Like really, that's really the only reason why people buy AirPods. If 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 nobody was like, oh, you need to get, like making fun of people with wires because they didn't have AirPods, I feel like everybody would still have the regular headphones. Because why spend like one, how much did I pay? Like, it was like 170, I think, like for, wireless headphones and the thing is they get dirty fast like you can clean the inside as many times as you want and the next day they will end up dirty and it doesn't matter and it's so hard to clean like the gunk from out of from the inside of the airpods you know if you keep your ears clean then it's not a problem but i'm just saying like actually trying to like clean the grill and all of that because it'll push in or water damage or whatever i just feel like it's dumb and while we on that topic, you know what else is overrated to me? School. I'm not gonna say school is overrated. Actually, I take that back. I say certain certain things that we learn in school is overrated. Like, I feel like, I to me, I feel like we should be able to go to school and do and learn what we want to be whenever you know we grow up, instead of having to learn stuff that's really not gonna benefit us. Like. Algebra 2 or pre-cal, you know, maybe some social studies will benefit you, but like not, why do we have to take consecutively, like, really, I mean, we start social studies in what, like, second, third grade? Yeah, why do we have to do it third through 12th grade? Like, what's the point? And then you go to college and then you gotta, you know, do it again and again for the career that you wanna be in. I feel like we should just be able to learn about what career we want to be in and then build upon that and then be able to that way we can be more successful in life with the career that we want you know i don't know if i'm making sense but that's just how i feel i feel like school lunch should be banned how about that no i'm a i'm a, i take that back because they stepping up their game at my school today we had lemon pepper wings yeah lemon pepper wings and last week we had hot wings. They have um, what they got? Um, what's that noodles called? They had uh, Alfredo. They have they got these double cheeseburgers now. They're trying to be like McDonald's. They're coming for you. 
Um, but yeah, I feel like school lunches got better this year than compared to last year. Because last year we was eating like, we was eating the same thing every week, like um, fish and supposed to be fried shrimp, but really baked shrimp and like PB&J and all of that nasty stuff. I really couldn't get with it. I didn't really see the point of it. Really, I didn't even eat lunch last year because like it was just nasty. And they would give you the same thing. Like I'm talking about the same thing every week, but my school stepping it up. I don't know about y'all's school. I feel like they're getting a little bit better with it. In the vending machines, they stepping up those too. You know, we got pop tarts now. We got regular chips, not the reduced fat chips. You know, we got candy, we got drink. Yeah, they, they doing it in. I feel like they getting better, maybe. You know, a little bit, a little bit some. Um, what else? Um, fish is nasty to me. I feel like fish is disgusting. I, I don't know if I already said that or not, but to me, fish is nasty. And why I say that is because it's just like, it just smell weird. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just give you a weird vibe. Like, whenever you try to eat it. Now, what what is good? What is good with fish? Ranch. If you put ra ranch, is good on anything. Ranch is good on anything. Let me repeat that for you for the people in the back. Ranch is good on anything, okay? If you put ranch on fries, I'm telling you, it will change your life. If you put ranch on the fish, it will change your life. Ranch on a burger, it will change your life. Ranch with nuggets. Put ranch on everything, I'm telling you, it is good. Ranch is good to me. Now, it's certain types. You can't get the great value and expect it to taste like the um, Hidden Valley. Now, that's a different story. Now, the Hidden Valley Ranch, that's good. That's good with anything. So, I say ranch is good with anything, okay? That's my opinion. Um, what else? Um, the Cheesecake Factory. To me, I feel like the Cheesecake Factory is overrated. You paying $22 just to sit there and eat something that you could get at McDonald's or Applebee's for that, for like, for like $11. Like, what's the point? And really, the cheesecake ain't even that good. I don't even eat, I don't eat cheesecake, but I tried it like a few times. It's not even all that. Like, everybody hype it up to be, ooh, you gotta go to Cheesecake Factory if you wanna be fancy or whatever. Or get the best cheesecake. Go to Kroger, Walmart, and get and get you some real food, okay? And if the, you know, I could see if you're going on a little date and all of that, a little something, you know, you're trying to spend a little change to impress your shorty or whatever, but, to just go there, you know, just to hang out, mm, that's a nigga. And, um, you know what else I feel? I'm just say, I feel like kissing in public is just, I mean, it's not, it's not bad. I just feel like people be going overboard with it. Like, at my school, like, they be like, Like as soon as I walk in the door, like that's all I see. Like it's a little, it's a little door right here. Whenever you walk in, and like you can see like through the the hallway, and like it's like three couples lined up just doing the exact same thing, like munching, like chewing on their face. Like what are you doing? Biting off their lips? Like what are you getting out of doing that? Like I'm I'm curious as what you can't do nothing like besides just sit there and kiss, and it gotta be awkward. Like you just sitting there like looking like okay, do I stop? Like what like. Like what, what's the reason? What do you get out of it? I feel like it's, it's unnecessary. That's, that's my opinion. I feel like kissing in public is unnecessary. I mean, you know, like a little, you know, like, you know, here and there or whatever, but like the chewing off the face, like, ah, you know, I feel like that is like, it's loading, you know? Yeah, my opinion. Cause y'all might get a little, if y'all watching this far, y'all y'all might feel a little hurt by what I'm saying, but I'm just speaking facts, okay? But, um, so I think that might be all. That might be all. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If, don't beat me up about what I said, okay? I just feel like, what I said is what I said, okay? I'm gonna just leave it at that. Why is she face something? Um, I'm filming.
mother. Hello. Where are you at? Oh, you're on YouTube. Say hey. I said you're on YouTube. Huh? No, I didn't see you, so. No. What did you say? You were talking about me? Hello? So yeah, before I was rudely interrupted by my mother, um, yeah, so, um, anything else? Oh, I feel like Instagram is really overrated. I, no, let me put it this way. I feel like TikTok, I don't know if y'all know what TikTok is, but it's like a new way, like where you can post videos and stuff. I feel like TikTok is better than Instagram. Actually, all the other social media platforms. And let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. I feel that TikTok, you're able to actually put yourself out there and post content where you can gain a, a following and you're able to use it for stuff like YouTube or Instagram or, you know, Snapchat and stuff like that. Where versus Instagram, you know, you may can tag the Explorer page, but it's not guaranteed that, you know, you're going to actually get on the Explorer page where where versus TikTok, if you post a video, you know, and you do the for you, you hashtag for you page, you know, you're able to, um, they, they allow you to be on the for you page. And then if, if people, you know, like it or, you know, comment or stuff like that, they'll put it on more people's for you page, which is how you, uh, um, blow up where Instagram, you know, it'll take, it'll take, it'll take a minute for you to actually, you know, gain that following and then be able to use that for your other platform. So I, I think personally, I think it's better. I think it's better than all the other social media platforms. And that's just, and that's just me. That's just me talking. I mean, I feel like that. I also feel like YouTube in a way is overrated. Like how everybody says, you know, if you start a YouTube channel, you know, you're gonna make such and such amount of money or this that or you know it's gonna come easy when in reality that is actually the opposite like to be able to get monetized you have to grind hard and get those I think it's 200,000 watch minutes and like a thousand subscribers and with that like you know you think you know you'll get that quickly but to do that you have to like put in work and then to actually make money you have to bring in the views or make creative content or think of something that nobody else has done and so i just feel like i mean i i'm i'm at that point where i'm already up not up there but like monetized and stuff like that so it's it was i mean it was a little hard at first for me but after you you know you get monetized it, it gets a lot it gets easier but i just feel like it's not how everybody makes it to seem so I guess it, in a way, it, it's kind of overrated. Not really, but that's just my opinion. But um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If I offended you guys, I'm sorry. I said what I said. And um, so yeah, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you disagree with me or if you agree with me on some of the things I said and um yeah so and I got a banger coming for y'all next week yeah it should be edited and posted next week so um yeah so thank you guys for watching if you got this far in the video I love you so much um and I'm doing a giveaway okay I'm doing a giveaway so I'm gonna follow me on Instagram so you can keep up and know how to enter the giveaway I'm gonna post the rules and stuff like that so, um, but yeah, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, uh, do all that good stuff, and, um, anything else, Cameron? Yeah, more videos coming, more creative content coming, I got you guys down, so make sure you watch, and yeah, hope you enjoy. Oh, well, I mean, you already at the end, but, alright, so, 